Hi, my name's Todd Cantwell. Uh, I play for Norwich City. I'm a midfielder and I've been at the club since I was nine years old. Um, football journey started at Norwich City um, and is still at Norwich City. I joined when I was nine years old, um, played in the academy all the years through, went on loan um, last season, the back end of last season, and I'm back in the first team now. So it's, uh, it's been pretty good. It was an Arsenal shirt. It was an Arsenal shirt. My family are Arsenal fans and um, it's, it's mixed between Arsenal and Norwich in my family. Um, but the first shirt was an Arsenal one. My footballing hero is a tough one. I think I was really small as a child and I looked up to Lionel Messi a lot because I saw that he could do it against bigger players and it made me believe that I could. Um, obviously I'm not so small now, but um, I would say through my youth days, it would have to be Lionel Messi just because he's, he's unbelievable at, at football. Um, my hometown is Deerham Town. Um, it's reasonably quiet. I don't spend too much time around the town, so I'm not so up to speed with it all. But um, I would say it's quite a nice town. It's quite, quite laid back. Um, there's a few things to do there, but you wouldn't get lost there. It's between a couple, but I'd probably say Max, Jamal, Ben, it has to be someone in there. My dream would be to play in the Premier League. I think being an English, being an English boy, I think that's something that you always watch on a Saturday. You know, it's something that you've always looked forward to watching and being a part of, so it would have to be the playing in the Premier League. Currently watching Orange is the New Black, but I don't want anyone to tell me what's happened because I haven't finished it yet. It's probably a Chinese, and I have my sister to blame for that because she's always wanting one. Oh, it's hard. Um, I'd probably say promotion last season at Fortuna. It has to be because it was so special. There's a few. There is a good. It is a good group between Emmy, Buendia, and Mo Leitner. I'd say there's a couple others, but between them two, again, there's there's some good ones. Ben Marshall, Grant Hanley tend to be at, at the front. Tim Krul's got a bit of banter. Tim Closer likes to think he's got a bit of banter, but it mixes between German, so half us don't get it, but. I'd probably say Ben Marshall for me, just because he gets me. Um, it was Justin Bieber, and it was Love Yourself. It was that. <laughs> it was all right. It actually was all right. I promise you, it was all right. For me personally, it's just being on the pitch every day, kicking a ball around. To be honest, it's something I've always wanted to do, and luckily I can do that as a job, so it would just be being on the pitch. I'm not sure I'm ready to shake his hands, you know. What is Daniel Fark like to work with? Yeah, I think we can probably both agree it's, it's quite enjoyable, you know, it lets us lets us uh, play how we want to play and play with freedom, which is obviously good as a young lad, isn't it? Yeah, I agree. Who's the most competitive person in our team? Christoph Zimmerman, for sure. This guy hates it, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, even yeah, in training, yeah, he's he just... can't lose nothing. He's just remembering he's throwing the poles around and all sorts. <laughs> right, this is a good one. Can you tell us what happens at a pookie party? I don't know, you might have to go to Finland for that one, you know. For us, man. I reckon... I'm not sure we've seen that. No, I don't think we have. I think we saw it maybe a little bit um, at the end of the year when we got promoted mm. from the championship. I think the real pookie party is in Finland. Who's the most famous person in your phone? Um, I'm going to say Jamal Lewis. <laughs> Jamal Lewis, probably. Yeah, that's quite good. That's quite good. Who is the best wing-back in the league and you can't say yourself? Um, Unless you genuinely believe it's you. I feel like you've got to go with one of the Liverpool duo. Yeah. They're, they're so good, you can't deny Trent's delivery. It's crazy. It's unbelievable. So at this point in time, I'm going to say Trent. Who is your biggest football inspiration? I think when I'm younger, 
I think it sort of stirs up between like an Iniesta, okay. Ronaldinho for like the flair and the right, tricks yeah, and course. stuff like that. I think probably more currently in my position right now, you, you would be crazy to not look up to De Bruyne mm. and just say, wow. Worst trim in the dressing room? That look weren't like a look at me, was no, it? No, 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 no. I'm just say. saying like... Which teammate is the worst driver? Oh, worst driver. One springs to mind. I haven't been in their car, but there was one time where we was in the team bus and he's clipped the team bus. <laughs> <laughs> the team bus's mirror while driving oh past us. Oh my so god. I've got to say, sorry, Yossip, but yeah, Yossip. Who did you have a poster of on your wall when you were younger? I think my middle name being Owen made me want Michael Owen more. Okay. okay because obviously okay. it's not really my position or anything like that, but yeah, it's actually true story. I still got that in my in my yeah. room now. Yeah. <laughs> like my old room. Yeah, like, yeah, not, yeah, not. Back home. Who has the best and worst celebration in the team? Obviously I've got to say my boy. Come on. <laughs> Uh, now you got yeah, I like your celebrations. Obviously, you come under a little bit of scrutiny, but you know, I, I love them. Which teammate has the worst fashion sense and why? Fashion sense is easy. That's, so that's easy. It's, it's a no-brainer. It's Christoph Zimmerman again. Mm. Like some of the outfits that get put on, <laughs> still to this day confuse me. And they, I know they do you as well. The, like the you... lumberjack. The lumberjack. Oh. He he has like a sleeveless lumberjack top. I honestly just don't think he cares. Yeah. He just doesn't care. Which kind of almost makes it a little bit better. It does so in a way. You know what I mean? I'm back to the start. Same. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon. Yeah.